How to increase your personal value? Hello, I'm Ranjan Kumar, founder of Mystic Fusion International and authentic self leadership coach. Well, this was this was a topic that was bugging my mind for a very long time, and as part of the video series that I'm making on personal development, personal growth, and authentic self leadership coach, there is something most essential as part of personal leadership, and that is how to increase your personal value. You know, somehow in the Asian countries and especially India, we have somehow convinced ourselves that we need to treat others uh, with greater value than how we treat ourselves. You know, we we are we are brought up in a culture where we respect our guests. We are very sensible to what happens to somebody else, and probably we are we are more concerned about the issues that are happening to the country than what is happening to your own self. And this is the greatness of our country, and this is the greatness richness of our culture. I totally agree with you, and I accept it. But the point is, when you look at somebody. who you who you find something unique about something charismatic about and something special about and you start admiring this person and feeling that you know you want to emulate this person then there is some secret power that that brings this charisma to this person and somehow we start we start you know uh, noting his habits or her habits or we start we start identifying something that they do which makes them unique or special but there is a hidden secret which probably makes them very special and this is exactly what i'm going to share with you in this video this secret is all about their personal power and i know that you agree with me that these people have some secret power which which makes them different from the you know rank and file which makes them different from the common people and what is this this is their personal power have you ever noticed how these people treat themselves have you ever noticed how they how these people find time for their own self and have you ever noticed how they are so watchful of everything about themselves before they are watchful watchful of everything about others and yes this holds the secret to their personal power if you are really interested in in your know, in understanding how you can increase your personal power then probably i want to draw your attention to something about your own self before i tell you what you can do to to increase your personal power well here's one thing that you can right away start doing my my you know i want to ask you something how long was it before uh, you sat at least 5 minutes alone and listed out things which are which are really special about you you know there are there are many conversations that you have with your friends with your with your colleagues and with your boss with your subordinates with your mom with your dad with everybody you know there are many activities that you do throughout the day have you ever sat down and tried to identify what all good you have done on that day and probably we have been educated not to do that or probably we have come up in a culture where we believe that you know everything we do or everything who we are is insignificant and that this is how we have been discounting upon ourselves this is how we have been discounting on all the good that we are and all the good that we do my my point is how can you be you know you you how can you be special to somebody else unless you feel special inside how can you be special to uh, you know world outside unless you feel special inside and how can you give your special uh, you know special attention to somebody unless you value the attention of your own self and this is what we are going to start with today if you really want to increase your personal power there is something very tricky about it and there is a, there is a very simple uh, system that you can follow and then probably enjoy it for the rest of your life my question to you is right from that first minute when you wake up in the morning till the last minute when you retire to bed every night take one day out of your life and this one day i want you to do one thing do whatever you want to do do you know live in whichever way you want to live and you don't have to change anything but every one hour hold a notepad in your notepad in your hand and a pen and every one hour come back to this notepad and jot down two or three things which you which you which you really value about your own self in that one hour did you think something good about somebody note it down 
Did you speak courteously to somebody? Note it down. Did you did you give some suggestion to somebody? Note it down. Did you did you go and extend your help to somebody? Note it down. Anything. My point is, I'm not asking you to do that. I'm asking you to dig for every you know dig for the value in whatever you are doing. You wished you you smiled at somebody. Do you understand the value of a smile? Do you realize the worth of a smile? My question to you is we have we have been habituated of discounting our smiles also. And you know, the moment you you throw a smile at somebody, probably you made his day. And probably this guy was saddened by many facts in his life. This guy was depressed, but in order to you know in order when he when he looked at your smile and smile is contagious i hope you agree with that you smile the other person also smiles and the moment you throw a smile at somebody there is an unconscious uh, imitation of the activity in the brain of the person who is looking at you and very soon you know knowingly or unknowingly he is smiling in his brain or probably that smile smile has also come onto the lips if you have if you have been successful at doing that probably you need to congratulate yourself you need to value what you have done but probably you know we we have discounted on that and we tend to ignore it like no it's just a smile it's not just a smile it's a smile and it's really something good something really valuable because you smiled at a stranger or you smiled at a person who you see every self uh, every day but the moment you smiled you acknowledge the presence of the person you said that i notice you i value you and i gift you my smile you know do you understand the value of that this person uh, now i am not asking you to expect something back from this person probably he is not learned enough to do that probably he doesn't know the value of that but you know I, I, this reminds me of a story i don't know how true that is but this reminds me of an interesting story long back i heard that a person had gone from uh, south india to kashmir uh, the uh, northern most part part of india and uh, after about 3 months he had a cousin uh, over uh, you know for a trip this doctor invited this cousin to you know take him around market and while trap while going across the market everybody who came across this doctor was wishing him good morning good afternoon good evening namaste and everybody was smiling and everybody was offering to give him a handshake and it was like hundreds of people and the friend of this doctor was stunned at the response of the market and the response of the people and he thought that it's just 3 months in just 3 months how could a doctor uh, you know meet these many people as patients which is not possible and uh, on his way back this friend asked the doctor like what did you do what was so special about you that you know you know so many people and people are acknowledging your presence and people are you know doing namaste and people are greeting you with a smile such a broad cheerful smile did you you know happen to give all these people attend to all these people as a medical practitioner and the doctor said well no it can it's not possible uh, to do that in 3 months the only thing i did my first month one month of my service here is i used to go all evenings and all mornings onto the roads and everybody i came across i would give a namaste i i would give a salam i would i would wish him good morning i would wish him good afternoon i would offer my handshake to this person and you know very soon people started recognizing my presence people started understanding that i come with very clear heart and a clear mind and with no vested interest and then they started reciprocating to what i was doing and they started taking interest in me and very soon we are all now friends and i have got a good number of friends across the place. is you know even even a tea vendor is my friend even even a uh, you know uh, winter clothes uh, vendor is my friend so it's a very easy way of making friends as well so if you are into networking and personal leadership or any kind of personal growth i would want to tell you that anything that you do it's not the world that has to value you are the first person who have to identify and find and acknowledge and appreciate what you are doing you know the value of what you are doing right from right from first moment in the day ask yourself did you greet your mom 
have you said good morning good morning mom or good morning dad and have you wished your daughter have you wished your son have you wished your friend or sent at least a good morning wish on your whatsapp if you are interested in that then probably that's a great thing you are a great friend you are a great son you are you are a special person in the life of your kids and you have done that please 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 do not discount on that that's very special about you and that's very lovable about you i want you to think you know how many special things are you contributing to this society and you might feel that well i don't do anything i'm just doing my job of course you are doing your job and that might be your source of livelihood but how you do that and what all you do that throughout the day probably is not part of the job and you are discounting on that you probably are taking that for granted and feeling that you know it's just simple everybody does that no i don't agree with that and i would advise you to not agree with that because how you behave and how you do it is a part of your own life if you really want to make it special i want you to take one day out of your life to feel special i want you to take one day out of your life to make your own day and i want you to take one day out of your life to identify acknowledge and appreciate everything special about you that's the first lesson probably you must you want you want you know you must explore with and you want you must play around with and it's just simple carry carry a notepad with you carry a pen with you and identify everything that you have done in the last one one hour which makes it which makes it's a special hour for you have you extended a compliment to somebody have you given a firm handshake to somebody have you consoled somebody have you helped somebody find a suggestion or find a contact number of somebody well that's a great help and probably we are so used to discount on it i would i would i would want to i would take this opportunity to remind you how special you are and please identify all the possible ways that makes you special and for me you are special you know everybody any small act that you do makes this world a better place and i want you to realize how worthy you are i want you to acknowledge how special you are and who's going to acknowledge this for you but for you please go back go within and grow within well that's that's the philosophy of my life and that's the philosophy of my organization go within to grow within and this is exactly what i'm training educating and spreading my you know awareness videos on and talks and seminars and workshops on authenticity starts from your own self authenticity is all about building that foundation authenticity is all about nurturing that greatness that god has already planted in you and that starts from finding value in what you already are doing before even you start to doing something which you or the world might consider worthy of appreciation and i would want you to acknowledge the fact that your very presence your your very uh, your very uh, you know way of living your life is probably admirable and i thank you for being here because i know that if you have been here with me till this point of the video then probably you are a, you are a different you are a unique person you are a special person and i would want to congratulate you for being here and i would want to i would want to receive your love and i would want to thank you for being here and thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for spreading this message and helping me reach millions of people love you